the, the side menu. How's that, how's that going? Is it still going ahead with the player coming to the yeah. FA Cup match? Um, I don't know if I can say anything That's around fine. that other than like that has gone really well, okay. um, in my opinion. For and I think a lot of people are gonna listen to this and be like, "Has it though? Like what? Like in my opinion, success from that meant just working with them Attraction. because even if we got the publicity that we did, in my opinion, it's still good." We still were able to raise money for charity. We we're still able to get a ton of like. I don't think people understand at the end of the day that that had nothing to do with what happened in Doncaster that day because it was you know the same day that that truly put us on a few people's radars that we were trying to get on or you know we didn't even think we could get on their radar and those discussions outside of you in the Simon organization. Um, are very positive, not only for Crawley Town, the organization, but I think for also like the town and the way that you know we can interact or do different things and what platforms that we would have to go forward. So, you know, I I don't know what's going to happen uh, with the Simon stuff if anything ever does. Obviously, that'll come out. But the the biggest thing is that we're trying to also think in that way of a non traditional football club. I love that you don't see other clubs caring about YouTubers and. I think for fans be like, oh, you want to like interact with YouTubers? Like that's not that's not how you do it, or like, mm. why not? You obviously so just a bit of context. Mm. It was proposed that after the Sidemen charity match, which I'm mm -hmm. sure a lot of people listening to this will know what that is. Um, it was proposed that a player, a, a Crawley scout, was going to watch that match, and he was going to pick a player to be on the bench for Crawley's first right. FA Cup match. Right? That's a massive <laughs> that's a massive deal. I remember hearing about it in the in the car in the overseas press conference. I was like. That's, that's, that's huge mm -hmm. for the club. You don't see other League Two clubs doing that. No. You don't see them interacting with the big dogs because sidemen, they will, you know, they will bring a lot of following to your club, a lot of attention. Were you behind that? Yeah. Right, okay. I, 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 the, I remember the text message when that came up and was immediately like, yes. Because I, I, if I had been aware of that event happening um, before, I would have already, I think, even said something to the, to the group. But... My my background again is in social media brand growth um, mm -hmm. and, and marketing. And one thing that's very clear to me is that for us as a club to grow, our our demo that we're focusing on can't just be the current fans. Um, it definitely needs to include them for sure, and we need to be understanding and uh, accommodate the traditions and not ruin. Uh, I think what is there already, but how do you build on top of that? The fact that I now know when I walk through London, if I go up to most, um, you know, 14 year old to 21 year olds, I'm like, do you know about Crawley Town? They know about it because of that news. Right, okay. And, and so from a fan perspective where you're like, oh, that was so dumb. Why would you ever do that? <laughs> well, at the same time now, a lot more people know about the club. A lot more people are now in some way kind of like, hey, that's my second team and because I think it's cool. Like, who does that? Um, well, at the time, it was, you know, you, you were on a bad run of form. Yeah. And then you announced and, that. And I think that adds pressure onto that yeah. decision to, to yeah. do the partnership, to send somebody here, to, to say that we could sign somebody. Like, yes. just to have that idea of, oh, you're going to sign somebody while we're, like, losing? Like, oh. Why aren't you focusing? And again, it has nothing to do with the day-to-day -day within the club. It's a marketing yeah. team that's doing some content and doing a partnership. Training doesn't get affected. The gameplay, the game strategy doesn't get affected. So really it's, you know, when we're looking at a, a football club as a business overall, there's the football side of playing on the field, players, strategy, etc. There's then also like the branding of that club, making sure there's growth and how do you have more people want to wear a jersey, be aware of following the club on social media, views, exposure, brand deals. All of that is also part of that business. And then on the other side of it, there's you know NFTs, et cetera, digital uh, assets. So all, I would say like those are like the main three verticals of how we run the football club. 